During the Industrial Revolution, which began around the latter half of the 1800s, many technological innovations began to be utilized that were able to perform work. Work that was formerly only able to be done with human hands. One of the most important inventions of this era was the steam engine locomotive. James Watt, as in the watt of a 60 watt light bulb, was a Scottish engineer who improved on an already existing design of a steam engine that was introduced nearly 100 years earlier. Watt's engine was able to push a piston to drive a crankshaft in order to turn a wheel. Thus began the engineering of the first train locomotive, and thus was altered the course of history. When the steam engine was first invented, the layman needed a way to understand just how much work it could accomplish in a given amount of time. In other words, he needed to know its power. Since people at the time were familiar with using horses for work, it seemed natural to compare the steam engine to these animals. James Watt defined horsepower as a power rating of 550 foot-pounds per second. In the sciences, however, where we use SI units, power is measured in joules per second, called the watt. It takes 746 watts to equal one horsepower. So, you have been presented with two concepts thus far, work and power. In science, work is defined as a force moved over a given distance. And power is the amount of time it takes to accomplish this. Now, to illustrate this a little more clearly, consider the following example. When you climb a stairway, you are performing work. You are moving a force, which is your weight over a given distance, which would be the height of the stairs. To calculate the power you are exerting, you would just need to divide the work by the time it took you to climb the stairs. You will be doing exactly that in this laboratory exercise. Be sure to read your lab procedure very carefully and record your data in the proper data tables.